Thank you for being here and welcome to all the new subscribers. Take a look at this spin. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This spin right here, this is what we've been talking about together for about a week, week and a half. It is, it is not a classified system, but you see it yourself right there, right where we've been talking about it. Now it is getting close. It'll be close by to the Caribbean in the next couple of days. I do not expect it to become anything crazy like a tropical storm or anything like that. But when you have a big spin like that right there, it influences the weather in a big fashion. And by the way, we're also getting close to the hurricane season. I want to touch on that in just a second. But with that spin there, look at this moisture feed coming out of uh, Venezuela, Colombia, just kind of pumping in. That is going to increase our rain chance anywhere from Trinidad back through Barbados, St. Lucia, Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, the Eastern Caribbean, Dominica. The rain chance is about to go up. It's going to go up even further. Parts of Costa Rica, Panama, and watching some of those gusty winds still around Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. I'll show you that as well in just a moment. Now, we are getting closer to the hurricane season. It's not yet. Uh, it does start on June 1st, right here, and then things really ramp up as we get into August, September, and October. That is the heart of the hurricane season. That's when we see most things develop. With that said, about every other year, there is some development before the start of the hurricane season in May. Usually, there's a named storm every other year. It doesn't mean that it would come toward us, right? It could be well out there in the Atlantic, but point being, now is the time that I'm really watching the hurricane season, not in a scary fashion, just to keep an eye out uh, if we do get any preseason development, which this year would be a little bit more likely because those water temperatures are so very warm. Now, as we go through the hurricane season, which ends on November 30th, there are 55 to 65 tropical waves that come off the coast of Africa. Those are uh, tropical waves, not water waves. Those are uh, their atmospheric waves, areas of rain and storms that kind of march across. And I watch out for some development in May, which again, we're getting closer to. We start to see our first series of tropical waves coming across. And then I monitor to see if there'd be any development near the Caribbean Gulf or the uh, Atlantic waters. Now, looking uh, through the rest of April, this is the outlook for the rain above average rain. Again, it doesn't mean we're going to get a lot of rain uh, for the end of April for some of us. It just means above average. And it's really for the Eastern Caribbean. This is going to work out because of the spin to the north. That is going to draw in some extra moisture for us in the Eastern Caribbean. So we are going to see that rain chance bumping up. So I'm watching out for the higher chance of rain and uh, keeping an eye out for the uh, preseason chance of development in the uh, hurricane season. So here's the spin. Watch what happens with me. Then I'll get to the winds and the seas in just a second. That moisture is really going to start to build. The fronts in the United States just kind of hanging around. I'll show you this picture in a second. A lot of fast moving fronts in the United States as we go ahead. But look what happens. Let's go a couple days out in time, right? This is Thursday. That spin starts to work, work away, gets sucked into a front and moves away. But that big influence of just drawing in that moisture, Antigua, Barbuda, down through Dominica, even Trinidad, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, we're going to see a better chance of rain as we get toward the end of the week. And still, look at this as we work our way into Friday, that spin really starts to leave, but that moisture feed just stays in place. And then at this point, I'll be monitoring, it's amazing, we've been so dry, but I'll be monitoring to see if we'll have any isolated uh, flooding uh, potential because you see, even as we get into the weekend, not all of us are going to get the rain, but still that rain that will be filtering in in some spots. I'll zoom down in just a moment, but you get the the idea that moisture feed is coming our way, which means that rain chance is going to get higher for a lot of us. Now, you could see the spin with me right in through here that curl, not tropical in nature, but it is continuing to bring us those strong winds uh, in parts of the Caribbean, the Bahamas, over toward uh, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Northside, Jamaica. It has been so very windy. And then as we swing back toward the coastline in Colombia and Panama, it has been very windy the last few days. Now, this is today, later today. As we go out in time, you see that little uh, spin right in through there, not well-defined or anything like that, but that still brings some of those stronger winds 
winds watching Haiti uh, back through the Bahamas. The winds will start to relax a little bit later this week over toward Jamaica and the uh, Cayman Islands. Still breezy, but just not as windy. And then as we work our way into Thursday, uh, this spin starts to work to the north, but the Bahamas, some gustier winds as we work our way toward the uh, end of the week. Give any heads up on that. Now, here's the closer look. And again, watching these areas of rain, even the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, the rain chance is going to bump up slightly. Watching the rain, Guyana and Suriname. And then, of course, we're watching this spin that is sitting just to the north that will feed all of this up. With that said, still watching out for some of the areas of rain, Costa Rica and Panama. Keep me posted in the comments if you're getting any rain. On the flip side, Belize, we haven't seen a whole lot, so monitoring that outlook as a whole. Then we're going to see this moisture starting to feed in, coming out of Venezuela. This here is by tomorrow. Spotty showers will be possible. Rain chance starts to bump up a little bit. Trinidad and then uh, northward. And then as we work our way into Thursday, there's that higher chance of rain for some of us. Uh, Dominica, Ceiba, Stacia, Montserrat getting a better chance of rain. Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, we are mainly on the dry side. We need to get a little rain in spots, no doubt. Bahamas, we're mainly on the dry side as well. Some of us dealing with those drought conditions, those cisterns are running dry. I'll be watching that as we go forward. So here's Bermuda. Here are the Bahamas. This is that area that I'm watching that is just spitting out there in the Atlantic. One front clipping by the Atlantic region of Canada. Watch how this is tied in together with me. As this front starts to drop through, there's some of the rain and some of the snow squeaking into a Newfoundland. This front helps grab this spin and kind of lifts it up to the north and away from the Caribbean. But that moisture feed is what's coming in and then back toward the United States. A lot of uh, systems, just a progressive uh, uh, kind of pattern. It'll be one front after another with some areas of rain flooding and that chance of stronger and severe storms throughout parts of the United States. Now, watching those wave heights with this spin out here, the Atlantic uh, uh, waters, you can see some of the uh, seas running at about 3.5 uh, meters. So we're running at about 11, 12 feet, and you see them, how they're elevated there. Much of the Gulf and the Caribbean, not too bad. It is a little choppier, of course, because of those winds. This here is by the time we get into Wednesday. This here is Thursday. Watching over toward the Gulf and the Bay of Campeche right in through here and those elevated seas. I mentioned those strong winds on Thursday in the Bahamas. That corresponds with those higher seas, elevated seas, especially central and southern Bahamas back through the Turks and Caicos. But that's where we're mainly dry. Elsewhere, we don't have a whole lot of rain in Cuba, uh, Cayman Islands, Jamaica. We are mainly on the dry side. We may get a few spotty showers, Dominican Republic. Back through Puerto Rico, we could get a couple thunderstorms here and there. And you see the, the rain total is not high, but watch here. Dominica, Martinique, there's a little bit of that purple shading showing up. And then as we swing to the south, you see see that kind of purplish shading in there. That's some of the increased rain. This is mainly going to be by Thursday where some spots may get up to about 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. But as we work our way Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, that's when we'll see that better chance of some of that rain working in. There are some of the higher totals still. Guyana and Suriname, still some totals over four inches of rain, over 100 millimeters of rain the next few days. Watching out for the higher chance of rain parts of Venezuela, Colombia, where some flooding will be possible. We'll keep Keep an eye on the ABC Islands to see how much of this rain will be getting closer. Costa Rica, Panama, still those isolated areas of flooding. On the flip side, we're mainly dry. Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and El Salvador, a chance of a couple showers. We'll keep an eye on a few spotty ones as we work our way back through uh, Mexico. But there are those systems rolling through parts of the uh, U.S. that at times will bring a few inches of rain as they move by with that severe weather threat. So the next couple of days in Jamaica, that rain chance stays very low. We're staying low over the next three days across the Cayman Islands. Rain chance Trinidad and Tobago starts to make a comeback. Some of that moisture starts to feed in. We'll start to get that chance of scattered showers, which means some of us will get it. Some of us may not. Barbados will see that increased chance of rain again by the end of the week, and it will start to take up on Thursday as we work our way into St. Lucia. We're looking at about a 40% chance, gradually starting to bounce up with that moisture feed in Grenada, uh, getting higher by tomorrow. St. Vincent the Grenadines will be up to a 50 percent chance of some scattered showers around. So 40 percent chance Wednesday, Thursday should be a little higher by Friday in Martinique. And you see that rain chance starting to make the climb in Dominica. A 30 percent chance today, 40 percent chance tomorrow, 50 percent chance by uh, Thursday. And the same thing in Guadalupe as some of that rain starts to lift in later this week. That rain chance is going to be on the higher side. Antigua, Barbuda, see it there. We are mainly dry today by Thursday. We're going to have that better chance of rain. Same thing as we work our way into St. Kitts and Nevis, 
Montserrat, mainly dry now, but by the end of the week, that rain chance will be getting higher. You see it making the climb in Guilla and St. Bart's, 30% chance today, but a 50% chance of some of that rain on Friday. Scattered showers possible tomorrow and Thursday, Thursday I should say, as we uh, work our way uh, toward the end of the week. Puerto Rico up to a 40% chance on Thursday, 40% chance as we work our way into Thursday, USA and British Virgin Islands. However, in the Bahamas, we are mainly dry. We have been so dry with those dry conditions. Turks and Caicos rain chance stays relatively low, but they're in the Dominican Republic. By Thursday, about a 50% chance of some spotty showers, mainly dry the next couple of days as we work our way through uh, Haiti and Belize. I touched upon this. We have been on the dry side. Not a lot of moisture in the outlook uh, quite yet. Aruba, though, the rain chance starting to bump up. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, maybe a little bit higher. I may adjust this even higher, uh, but up to a 40% chance of rain tomorrow, Curacao, Bonaire, but it may be upwards of about a 50 50% chance. I'll keep an eye on that. Guyana watching out for those areas of flooding. Same thing, especially today in Suriname with that higher chance of some rain. We swing back through Cuba, a lot of sunshine, and we are really heating up. Costa Rica, Panama watching out for those areas of flooding. A 60% chance of rain over the next couple of days in Costa Rica and Panama. Nicaragua, rain chance about 40%. Honduras, not very high. We're looking at a 20 to about 30% chance of some rain. Guatemala and El Salvador, some scattered showers will be possible for today and a couple around Mexico City. Otherwise, we're mainly dry tomorrow and Thursday. We swing back toward the Yucatan Peninsula. It'd be one or two showers around, and that would be it. Northern Colombia, rain chance getting higher. Watching out for that moisture feeding in. Same thing in northern Venezuela. And then we swing back toward Bermuda, watching that uh, spin in the Atlantic just off to the uh, southeast over the next uh, several days. So that large spin in the Atlantic, a very low chance it develops into a subtropical system, but it will help bring more of that rain. That's what I've been highlighting over the next two days, really by the end of the week. That'll give us that active period ahead. And we're now just 40 days away from the uh, hurricane season. So thank you for subscribing to this channel, being part of this weather community. I hope you're doing well and have a good day ahead.